Welcome to CES 2013, where we're doing a special edition Lenovo Unboxed. And uh, as always, this is Gavin here with Kevin Beck. Hi, Kevin. Gavin, how you doing? I'm doing great. We're, uh, we're here in the Lenovo Lounge, which has just opened up. Loads of people here, and we wanted to show off the ThinkPad Helix, which has officially announced after right. many rumors and <laughs> false starts in the press. Um, right. Kevin, this is, a, a, I think, you know, a fairly uh, significant product in the ThinkPad line. It's another one of our convertibles, right? That is correct. Um, you know, there's a lot of products in the market, including ones by us, that are compromised in some way. They're either a tablet, like our ThinkPad Tablet 2, great product, and it kind of can become a laptop if you attach a keyboard to it, right? And then you've got things like our Yoga, which are primarily a, uh, primarily a notebook, primarily an ultrabook, and then it has tablet functionality. So what we've got here is the ThinkPad Helix, which is first and foremost a ThinkPad Ultrabook, but is also a tablet, we think, with much less compromise uh, than any other product we've made or anything else in the market. Okay, and there's a, before we get into it, yep. tell me about, tell me what's different about this than, than the things we've made before. I know I, okay. the, the base and the design and that sort of thing right. seems like a new one, even among all these other convertibles. But yep. tell me what, what kind of stands out the most about it, and then if you want to get into some of the specs and all that, that'd be great. Sure, okay, I'll explain what it is. It is first and foremost a 20 millimeter Ultrabook with 10 hours of battery life, right? That's... Uh, sort of the bottom line of what it is as a notebook, okay. but it has one significant feature, which is that the entire guts of the PC are actually behind the screen, right? So we think one of the key differentiating factors of this is the way that we've managed the thermals and the processor performance. So this is up to a full performance i7. Almost all the tablet products in the market, and in fact all we've seen, make compromises by throttling the processor speed down when it's in tablet mode, and we do the same. Right, you can only manage so much heat when you're holding it as a tablet. So that's nine watts of the 17 watts the processor can actually use. So, so what did we do to then accommodate this, the, the heat that is no doubt generated by a Core i7 processor? Right. So when we dock this, what we've got are two additional fans right here that go through the air path of the uh, slate portion, boost the airflow, and let us get in the docked Ultrabook mode, a full 17 watts of Core i7 performance. Wow, okay. And just out of curiosity, yeah. if we had not done that, we, I mean, you, you couldn't pull this off, right? You couldn't pull off a Core i7 in a tablet like this, right? Oh, you could put it in there, you just never get the full performance out of it. Okay, I got gotcha. you, yeah. I got gotcha. you. So it takes, the, it, it takes the teapot off the stove, so to speak. Right, right, you get what you're paying for, is the, is the way I look at it. Right. If you're okay. paying for a Core i7 that can run up to 17 watts, you want to get that full performance out of it, and that's what these fans let you do. Fair enough, and, and you get what you pay for. I know this is not our cheapest product. This is starting in the U.S. at about $14.99. Right. Premium again, convertible Ultrabook. You get what you pay for, right. again. Absolutely. Tell us some more about the specs. I'd like to hear about the display. I know that's one of the sort of outstanding yeah, absolutely. things. Absolutely, uh, 11.6 inch full HD display, 400 nits uh, with Gorilla Glass to protect the screen. Okay, and you know I'm not a techie, but the, yeah. the 400 nits I know is significant. That's the brightness, right? Yeah, that is a uh, that is a very significant level of brightness for an ultrabook screen. And the IPS uh, plays into how well, how well right. you can view it from right. angles, the right? Angle uh, viewability angle when turned side to side, which is particularly important when you're in tablet mode, obviously. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, what other specky kind of things do you want to do before you show us inevitably the yeah. ports that you love so much? <laughs> right, uh, you know, very well spec'd up to uh, eight gigs of RAM, up to 256 gigs of storage. Uh, digitizer pen. Oh, the pen, I'd forgotten this because the, the ThinkPad Tablet 2, of course, came out and the big deal with that was the pen. Right. Does, does this pen differ at all from the one on the Tablet 2? Nope, same basic functionality. It's a full digitizer. So. For folks who need to do things that require pen levels of precision, like drawing or uh, capturing signatures, you're going to have that available. Okay, and again, uh, not to not to uh, you know overstate it, but you've got keyboard input, you've got touch touch input with your finger, and you've got the pen, right? Right. Um, and with your fingers, how many how many finger touch do we have? Ten finger touch. So ten finger touch, you can you can uh, play the piano on it theoretically, right. like we do on our our uh, A720 right. with the app. And let me show you one other thing that's uh, unique in this form factor of anything that we've seen so far, and certainly anything we've made. 
uh, is that when you pull this off as a, uh, a slate, as a tablet, you can certainly use it in this mode. You get about six hours of battery life here. There's a 10 total, about six here and about four in the base. Uh, and the weights are actually pretty evenly matched. It's right uh, at 3.7 pounds, just about evenly split weight between the two. So you can take this with you and only use this. You could leave this at home if you wanted. But we do have a, a you know, number of customers who are used to using this in the more classic convertible spin around type tablet mode. So we wanted to make sure that the customers who are used to using that form factor and who wanted the full 10 hours of battery life could keep using their new PC the way that they always used it. So we made the hinge bi-directional. You can uh -huh, actually okay. click this down. Now, I said before you get 17 watts when it's clicked in. That's when it's turned in normal uh, Ultrabook uh, laptop mode. In this mode, it's 13 watts. So you're okay. still getting significantly more performance than if it were a slate alone. And so now it's a docked tablet, essentially. And now it is a docked tablet with full 10 hours of battery life. So you get to choose how much battery life you want and how much weight you want to carry. Great, and that, that fits in perfectly with the, all the ThinkPad sort of power manager and battery stretch settings that we've had over the years. That way you can choose how much performance you need or how much battery life, right? right. And so Kevin, you're getting into the usage modes here, which is an interesting thing too. With, with our yoga, we had laptop, tablet, tent and stand, and I've actually seen a couple different ways of describing yeah. the modes for, for Helix so far. We may be contradicting ourselves a little, sure. Yeah. But um, but basically the one you just showed us is, is kind of amazing, and, and I assume you can also use it as a sort of a stand in that in that mode right. when so it's So basically stand. we call the four modes of this laptop, tablet, stand, and tablet plus. Okay, the tablet <laughs> plus being the one you just showed right. us, right? Right, exactly. Um, and again, you can use it in that stand mode where it's kind of docked, but at an angle mm -hmm. if you want to uh, you know, watch a movie or just browse the web, that sort right. of thing, right? right. Uh, so just a quick run through of the ports here. We've got USB 2.0 on the uh, slate portion itself, uh, mini display port. This is the docking port. That's the cutout for the dock when it's turned around backwards. Uh, and then we've got the uh, power plug here. So you truly can plug a, uh, an external device in here and charge it uh, even if you choose to leave this at home. Uh, okay. And then on the uh, base itself, we've got two USB 3.0 mini display port and a uh, charging port. Very cool. And uh, I'm a little bit out of order here topically, but um, the, the, did you mention the, the Gorilla Glass? It is a Gorilla Glass display, right? Correct. And, and we've heard some things about Corning is working on the recipe for Gorilla Glass. So I, yeah. I, when I saw the weight for this um, yeah. for this product, it seemed lower than I expected. And I assume that's right. maybe because Gorilla Glass yeah, is refining. And, and Gorilla Glass has improved over time, absolutely. Yep. We, loved, we loved, for instance, the original ThinkPad tablet, but it, was, it made it heavy for sure. Yep. So. Great. Um, what else you got to show me? Obviously, this is a Windows 8 device, um, and you can get all you get all your traditional desktop applications as well as the uh, the apps that are available in the Windows Store. Uh, I think the one other thing I would mention is that because it's got the ThinkPad name on it, it does have a track point. Uh, this is the first product that we brought out with our new five-button touchpad. So astute observers may notice that there aren't actually any physical buttons here for the track point. In order to fit everything in, we had to develop a new track pad. So you still get the three buttons that you're used to with your traditional track point, uh, but they're now integrated into the touchpad. Oh, so right? okay, We've got okay, left underneath. click, right click, and uh, our center click for scrolling. And then if you choose to use the touchpad, uh, you still get all of your standard Windows gestures. Yep. If I'm doing it right. Cool. Uh, and then you've got your two click. So we call it a five button click pad. Nice. Very good. Well, anything else to cover, Kevin? No, I think we've just about got it. All right. There is your very noisy, uh, but very uh, sincere, shall we say, day one CES edition of uh, unboxing the ThinkPad Helix. Kevin, thanks so much. You're very welcome. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Take care.